ever since I was a little kid, I sit back and I observe everything. Everything. I observe people, relationships, all type of shit. I observe what unfolded in front of me. And I came to a conclusion that people know it's like that. Why is everybody going with this whole fucking fairy tale narrative about love and shit when they know fucking well they never had no intentions on fulfilling that or even playing by them type of rules and shit, right? Motherfuckers get married. Why Why the fuck did you get married just to cheat, bitch? Why not stay single? Because you want the best of both worlds and you are selfish and you are self-absorbed. And I swear to God, that's why I am single. Being single is a flex. Being single is not a prison sentence. Being single assures you peace of mind. Being single... Man, you ain't got to be considerate of nobody else's nothing. So you ain't doing wrong by no damn body or being judged and shit. And you can have your whole bed to yourself and you can get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom without fucking falling in a fucking toilet or stepping in a puddle of piss being single has its perks you understand but the way I see motherfuckers and they be married for a long time and they do their due diligence of providing and all of that fucking shit but see and so many men get away with doing major fuck shit by topping it off with a fucking kiff or a goddamn flower. The weakness, the, the, the easily swayedness of humans disgusts me. It really do. I'm single for the safety of others, and that's the truth. I'm single because people deserve to be free, and they deserve to fuck whoever they like without nobody nagging their ass. I'm single because you would hate to die for not keeping your word to me. Dead ass. So I'm not going to put nobody in a position. To jeopardize their fucking life. For trying to play with my intelligence and my emotions. Because like I said in previous videos. Baby I can't keep the fuck out of my heart. I got a big old heart. But I ain't giving that shit to people who don't deserve it. Some women are so impressed because a man might buy them a pocketbook. Or some heels or fucking get their fucking hair and nails done. Don't none of that shit impress me. You gonna have to offer me something I can't give my motherfucking self. What can you give me that I can't give myself? What can you do for me to add value to my life? You feel me? I ain't trying to take from yours. Why the fuck are you here? Keep your material shit, bitch. I could buy that. Burn it. Buy some more shit. Burn that. <laughs> buy some more shit and sacrifice it to the gods as a burnt offering. That material shit don't move me, motherfucker. A kitty cat and a plant wheel. Yes, it will, too. But anyway, um, what these, what these humans lack is substance. Cause I don't give a fuck about how the fuck you dress. Bitch, I'll rip them clothes off your ass. I don't give a but what kind of car you drive, I will flatten your tires. <laughs> I don't care what kind of apartment you live in. 
That's nice. But do you got some plants and animals in there? Oh, okay. I don't give a fuck about your material shit. You do. The substance of who you are is all the material shit that you can obtain and buy and give to other people. And if that's what makes you feel good at the end of the day, fine. But I'm not impressed with it. I'm not impressed with your penis either. I'm not impressed with nobody's sex or their looks. All that shit is nothing. Because with age, them looks is going to fade. Give a fuck about no looks. What's that, the substance of you? How many times have you been in, you fell flat on your face and got back up? How many times have people lied on you and run smear campaigns and somehow you find a way to move through that shit with grace and overcome and conquer all your demons and having mind over body? Do they make people like that? That... I want me a Buddhist motherfucker. I'm so serious. But then again, it's kind of contradiction, contradictory why I want a Buddhist because I like Buddhist people because they have no need for desire. And once they lost their need for desire, yeah, all, all their problems type of went away type shit. So my thing is this. If you're a person that is more worried about your appearance than you are about your whole morality, you're more worried about what people can see on the surface versus what they cannot, you ain't for me. I don't want to be around that type of energy. I love people that can actually acknowledge their truths, good, bad, or indifferent. People that don't have a problem saying exactly what the fuck they feel. And people that talk the talk and walk that walk. See what I desire, what I like, has no physical existence. It may act out in the physical existence. It may manifest itself in the physical existence. But the thing that I desire is not something that can be touched with the human hand. So, 